Hey everyone, in today's Microsoft video, I wanna show you how to use Microsoft OneDrive. And if you've never heard of OneDrive before, it's basically cloud storage for all types of files that you have on your computer. So if you have photos, videos, and if you have Excel documents, Word documents, PowerPoint documents, or really any type of document on your computer, you could put it on OneDrive instead. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, with OneDrive, there are three big benefits. Let me show you. OneDrive lets you access your files anywhere because it's online, okay? So you have cloud access, so you could sign into your OneDrive accounts, and instead of having to have access to your actual computer, you could edit a file and access it and do whatever you want to a file from anywhere. It also backs up and protects your file because it's on the cloud, if something goes wrong with your computer, if your hard drive crashes, it's backed up on OneDrive. This is probably my favorite thing about OneDrive. And you could easily share documents with other people, especially when it comes to Office apps. So if you wanna share and work on the same Word document or Excel document, this makes it really, really easy to do that with OneDrive. And if you don't have OneDrive, I'm gonna show you how to check if you have it. But if you don't have it, you could go to this website. I'll put this in the link below this video in the description section. So just click it, it will bring you here. And you could just go ahead and sign up for free. But I do wanna mention the different types of plans that OneDrive has. The free version does give you five gigabytes. So if you're only doing files like Word document and Excel documents, this is a huge amount of free space. But if you're adding photos and videos and things like that, you may want to upgrade to 100 gigabytes. The version I have is this one. It's called Microsoft 365. This gives you Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint for your computer. It doesn't matter if you're on Windows or if you're on a Mac. You could get all these applications in a bundle price here. And you get OneDrive and you get one terabyte. That's a thousand gigabytes. So the free one is only five. This is a thousand, okay? So you could get this, this is what I have, but they look the same. You just are limited on how much space you have with OneDrive and the free version again, doesn't have these applications, okay? Other than that, it's pretty much the same. You could also check the business version. So a lot of times you may have already an access to this if your company has purchased this before, okay? So let's go back to the homepage here and I already went and signed up. I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my account, okay? So let's go ahead and sign in and come to this page. And as I mentioned, the premium version is what I have. Again, you get a thousand gigabytes here and these apps that I already have installed on my computer. Let me click away. And if in the process of signing up, you did not get to this page, just go to onedrive.live.com, this website here, and it will bring you to this page, but it will ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. So either create a new account for this or sign up if you have a Microsoft account. I have a bunch of Microsoft accounts because I have an Xbox account and a Skype account, but I have one just dedicated to this so I don't get it confused with anything else. Let me show you what OneDrive looks like here. And then towards the end of the video, we're gonna sync this to our computer. So you could actually have it on your computer as well, plus this website, okay? You could have both at the same time. But just to keep it clear, Right here, the website of OneDrive lets you do lots of different things so, so easily. The search everything option is gonna come in useful later because it's gonna do a good job searching everything you have. So pay attention to that. But inside of your OneDrive in the center, all your files and folders appear right over here. This is a relatively new account and I cleared it up for you. So you should probably only see a couple of different things. The personal vault, I'm not gonna cover in this video, I'll make a different video for that, but I'll explain everything else that you see, okay? If you ever wanna upgrade, by the way, you could click premium OneDrive and see the other plans that I've shown you in the beginning. So what can you do right here? Well, you could create new files and folders by pressing this plus sign and it lets you create a folder. So let's say this is my folder for my marketing documents for work. I could go ahead and create that and it's gonna create a new folder for me. And then I could also press new and create any type of file I want. I could create a Word document here, Excel document, PowerPoint, OneNote notebook, form survey, and just plain text document. Okay, all that could be created here. 
Now let me go ahead and press Word document to show you what happens. It actually opens up a new Word panel here, but this is the web version of Microsoft Word, okay? This is the online version. This is not the one that you may already have on your computer, but that's okay. It almost works the same way. I do have complete tutorials, by the way, on Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and everything else Microsoft has to offer. I'll put a playlist below this video if you wanna learn more about individual apps like this, okay? So anything you type here, marketing notes, okay? If I just go ahead and exit here, this is already saved to my OneDrive. If I just go ahead and close this and come back here, look at that, this is that document now. Now anytime I could go ahead and click it and come back to where I left off. I didn't even have to press save, which is one of the more useful options at OneDrive. You don't have to worry about losing anything ever. Okay, so I typed out a note and my document is called document one. I could click it here and name it marketing notes for today. Okay, and then I could go ahead and click away and it's changed the name now. If I close it, go back to my OneDrive folder, there it is marketing notes for today is getting updated, okay? Now I could drag this to my marketing folder just like that, okay? It's gonna move in a second, there you go, it disappeared. Now if I go to the marketing folder, there it is. So typically what I do is, let me go back, I create all the folders I want and then I go inside of those folders and I create the new documents I want. Or maybe subfolders if I wanna get deeper in organizing things, okay? What else can you do here? Let's go back to my file now. Anytime you click this, it's gonna bring you to the home page, and you have recent photos shared and recycling over here to make it easy for you to jump around. But next to new, you have upload, okay? Upload lets you bring in a file or multiple files or an entire folder. Let me bring in a file right here, and let's go ahead and bring in a picture. I'll just bring in this picture right here, double click, and it just brought in a picture, you see that? It's just gonna load this picture in a second. And let's say I wanna bring in a different type of file. I'll press files this time, and I'll bring in something from my desktop. Let's go ahead and bring in this Word doc here. And it looks like I already have this one, but let me go ahead and keep both of them. I already imported this one, it looks like from before, but now I have two. I could go ahead and click on the old one here to open it up here too. Now this one I created in the Word version that's on my computer, not the online version. But it also let me open it here on the online version of Word. But anytime with Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents, you could click this little check mark right here and come up here to open and instead of pressing open, press this little arrow and instead of opening it with the Word online, you could open it with the Word on your computer. Now this depends if you have this version. If you have the free version of OneDrive, you may not have Word. I have Microsoft 365, so I have Word because of that. But that's gonna go ahead and let me open up Word here if I give it access, okay? And there you go. Now this is the version that's on my computer, not on OneDrive. Another thing you could do is you could always select one of these files too and download it to your computer too outside of OneDrive. At the end, again, I'll show you how to sync them so you don't have to worry about doing this. It will happen automatically, but that option is available to you. And you could always delete files over here if you select them and delete them and it's gonna go in the recycling bin, okay? And you could see version history up here if you select anything, you could rename it, copy it and move it or just drag and drop it to a different folder like that. These options right here are really useful because you could sort based on name or modify, especially when you get a lot of different things. Remember, you could always search on top for things and you could change the view to list and it will lay them out this way for you if the other way does not help. So if the tile view is not helpful, you could search or you could sort by list, which is one of my favorites. And I also like photos. So if I grab this and put it in the pictures folder, let me go inside the pictures folder and you could go ahead and look here in photo view, which is gonna show you things this way, okay? Now, let me go back to my files here. I wanna show you how to sync this to your computer. If you come down here and click this option, it says get OneDrive apps. Let me go ahead and click this because there are apps for OneDrive. It doesn't just take place on the computer on the OneDrive website, okay? 
And here, it's gonna recognize your Windows machine, most likely you're on Windows. I'm just on a Mac here, just for this video, but I could go ahead and press download here, and it's gonna download it. They also have Android and iPhone iOS apps here too. Again, I'll cover those in different videos. So go ahead and download and install this. If you already have Microsoft 365, you may already have this. So search for OneDrive on your computer if you already have it. I uninstalled it so I could actually show you this process. Now I'm gonna just search my computer for OneDrive and open it up here and I'm gonna say set it up. Okay, so now it's gonna ask you to type in your email and your password. This is the same way we just signed up on the other page, okay? So type in the same information. And here, let's go through the sign up process. Okay, I'm just gonna choose do not send here. This is optional. And OneDrive folder. Basically, this will create a folder on your computer. It, again, it doesn't matter if you're on Windows or on Mac, it will do it to both. It will add a folder and sync everything that we did on the website to our computer, okay? It makes this really, really useful. And this is the folder that it's gonna create. So you could change this location if you wanna put it somewhere else if you don't like this path here. Go ahead and change it. But I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder. And let me press next a couple of times. This is just showing you how things are going to work. All your files are going to be ready on your computer. You don't actually have to go to the other website, okay? And I'm gonna set up the mobile app later. Again, that syncs with all of this, so you could use all of them at the same time. And open the folder. Okay, so take a look here. Again, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC, either way, it's gonna create a folder here called OneDrive. And everything we did on the website is gonna appear over here. So remember, we made a marketing folder and we added these Word docs, and then in the picture folder, we added this image here. So all of that happened. The whole structure, every single file is over here. And if you look closely, you could see some of these have a cloud folder. That means these are only available when I'm online. Okay, I need internet connection. And some have a check mark. That means they're also on my computer. They're duplicated. They're on my computer so they could easily open without internet connection, available on this device, or they're on the cloud. Anytime though, I could right click on each one of them, okay? And then I could right here say, always keep on this device, okay? Let me click this. And it's gonna download it to my device as well. You can see that now it has a check mark, okay? Now this is actually putting it on my desktop, but this is typically what I want. I want a version that I created on the cloud or I put over here that's available on the cloud and on my computer. I don't want it just to be on the cloud. But if I do want to save space, I could go ahead and right click it and then I could say free up space. I could click this option. And basically what that does is it makes it available in the cloud here and not on my computer. You see how it changed to the cloud icon? So I saved the file from my computer. It's, not no, it's no longer duplicated, but it's still available on the cloud. So what happens if I double click this now? It's going to actually access it from the cloud and open it just like that on my computer. And if I go back to the computer here, to the internet, it's also still available over here. So if I'm away from home, I could go to the onedrive.live.com website, access it here. If I'm at home, I could just go to my folder here that has everything, my OneDrive folder, and double click any of these to open it on my computer. Really, really easy, sync between all devices. Again, it's available for the mobile app as well, so if you wanna open it there, iPhone and Android have Word and Excel uh, documents and applications as well. So it all works across all your devices. But typically, I start here on the website, set everything up, then download the app for my Windows machine or my Mac machine, then I sync it up here, then anytime I could go ahead and come over here and create files over here, okay? So now, let me just show you one last thing. If I look on my desktop here, here's a picture, okay? If I drag this picture to the picture document here, okay, I just brought it here. It took it away from my desktop and it put it in this folder. It's still on my desktop, just not on this part of my computer, but it's still on my computer, okay? So this is it. And let's say, let's see what's going on with this icon here. It's available on this device because I didn't move it from this device, but it's also available on the cloud. This is what this version looks like. 
The one that's a solid green means it's only available on your computer and the cloud means it's only available on the cloud. Let's go to the website just so I could show you what happened there. And let me go in here. And if you give it a second, that picture is gonna appear over here. You could select it and all your options with it are available over here. And you could go ahead and delete it from here. Let me show you what happens if you do that. Let's go back to this and give it a second. There you go, it disappeared. So be careful if you delete it from here, it will delete from this folder as well. So make sure you don't do that if you don't want it to be completely gone. I hope you found this video useful. I have other videos, as I mentioned, on all the other Microsoft 365 products. So make sure you watch those if you found this one useful. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.